Military installations in Colorado and across the country are hoping to diminish the looming impact of DOD cuts. We are competing with every other state in the union to try to hold on to our military forces. The military's economic impact on Colorado is $6.5 billion, $6 billion of which is concentrated here in El Paso County. The potential for some sort of an impact is significant and we need to be thinking about it and preparing for it right now. Military advocates say Colorado is the only one of 35 military heavy states without an organizational structure or funding to support our installations. There are millions of dollars that have been allocated to help protect the uh, installations that they have in those states. And in that area, Colorado is way behind. And Colorado has already taken a hit. Many weren't expecting the Air Force to cut 200 airmen and a third of the planes assigned to Peterson's 302nd airlift wing. I suspect there was the notion that oh, nothing's going to happen to the 302nd. They've got such an important mission, which they do, and they're very good at it, which they are. And then all of a sudden we read it in the paper. That's not the way we want to do business. We want to be proactive. We want to get ahead of these decisions so that we can try to influence them as much as possible. A BRAC doesn't always mean bad news. Reduced units and assets would be moved to where there's infrastructure to support them. That's why they want local and state leaders to be proactive, to prove Colorado is a place to grow, not cut. We want to put the good news back there in the Pentagon as to what it is that Colorado has out here. And we've got a great story to tell. The fact that we're at altitude here helps. The fact that we have a community that is, is so welcoming to the military all work in our favor but we can't ever take any of that for granted. They say if small issues were resolved in our region, the unpaved two miles of Fort Carson's Gate 19, or the lack of space at Peterson, it could protect our assets in the long run. It's pieces like that that we've taken care of in the past that have, have sent the message to, to Washington that uh, Colorado, Colorado Springs cares about the military. They say folks in our area know how important our installation's missions are to the military. We make sure everybody else knows that. In Colorado Springs, Sam Baranowski, Fox 21 News.